Hi, this is JJ DiGeronimo, the president of Advancing Women in STEM and Tech Savvy Women, and I am absolutely thrilled to have Laura Shoppy here today. She is the president of Fuentech. Laura, we're so excited to have you. Tell us a little bit about your career trajectory. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm a mechanical and aerospace engineer, and I started off in the defense industry doing submarine and surface ship combat systems and decided I wanted to do something a little bit more productive uh, for humanity, so moved over to technology commercialization, where we take technologies from one use and move them over to uh, a brand new use, and um, from there, started my own company about uh, 12, 13 years ago called Quentech, and I've got a group of engineers and scientists, and we take a look at technologies developed by NASA, universities, corporations, and figure out new uses for them, so it's a blast. Laura, this is awesome. It's really great to hear uh, your trajectory. How did you move into a direct contributor role and manager into a technology transfer position? That seems like a big leap. It was actually harder in the engineering field of, of doing surface ship and submarine combat systems because that was a male-dominated field. And so becoming a manager in that environment was actually much harder than <laughs> doing technology transfer. The transition there was really one of the business side of things. Taking the engineering and coupling it with business uh, became just a logical choice for me. I wasn't enjoying being a bench engineer anymore, and I kind of topped out in the management role because of the type of engineering that I was doing, and so it was just time for a change. That is fabulous. And what gave you the incentive or momentum to start Fuentech? I had been working at a research organization, and it was just time to make a move. I pretty much feeling out, um, topped out, and it was time to decide to do something different, and I wasn't really enjoying how the business was being run, mm -hmm. and I wanted some autonomy and make the decisions of what types of staff I had and what types of clients we were taking. And so by starting my own business, I had full control. I was able to pick all the people that I respected and uh, wanted working with me, and then pick the clients that we wanted to work with and was able to say no to clients that I didn't feel that we were a good fit for. Wow, that's really fabulous. And, and when you're thinking about professional women, what type of advice could you give them by looking to advance their professional career? I got the best advice when I was working at GE. I went through their leadership program, and there were a few things that just absolutely stuck with me. Uh, one was making sure that when you are giving an assignment or asking somebody to deliver something at a certain time, don't raise your voice at the end of it. That's a very common thing that women do. We say, could you have it for us on Thursday? And it becomes a question as opposed to, I need it on Thursday. So be authoritative. Don't undermine yourself. And then also don't say, I'm sorry, at the beginning of every sentence. And, and that's something that I see a lot in women is they will apologize at the beginning. Again, you're undervaluing the contribution. You've got every right to be in the room and every right to make the contribution you're making. That's awesome advice, Laura. I really appreciate you highlighting that. And I think we, the more we say it, the more it'll people will be self-aware of these types of things. I guess I'd just like to end on what advice you would give women that maybe feel like they've topped out and they're not sure where to go next or what they need to do to sort of either start their own initiative or position for a new initiative. Can you give any advice around some of the strategies you've taken to propel yourselves in new directions and even start your own company? Yeah, a few things. So first is take a look within the company that you, you're already at. Um, if there are opportunities, try to find a mentor that's above you um, at the highest level possible if, if you can and work and talk with them about what career choices am I making. Um, and it doesn't have to be a woman, it can be a man as well. In fact, several of my mentors were men, a couple were women as well. Uh, and talk to them about what should I be doing next, how can I move into the next phase of my career. And if that doesn't look like a reality and you think you are truly topped out, take a look outside. Um, look for a different job. It might be at a smaller company. It might be an opportunity to start your own. I happen to have had a very strong network when I started Fuentech. Had I not had that network, um, I probably would not have been able to do this. But network away. That's excellent advice. And Laura, if they want to get in touch with you, how should they do that? LinkedIn is a great way, and I am more than happy to connect with them. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time.